and welcome to Crash and Learn FPV. Today I will be flashing the firmware on my Flysky FSI 6 transmitter to get four extra channels. A thing to mention before you flash your firmware that I wasn't aware of is that it will erase the entire memory on your transmitter. So all your settings, your fail safe, your sub trim or whatever will be lost. So I recommend you make some notes about what they were, your, all your models, and you must also rebind it to all your receivers. For me that wasn't such a big deal because currently I only have one receiver bound to it which is the Eugene Wizard. Out of the box the FSI 6 transmitter has six channels as you can see here. But if you look at the transmitter you can see that it actually has 10 channels. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in order to use these extra four there is a firmware hack available that you can flash your transmitter with. And there's a couple of ways of hooking up your transmitter to your computer but I will be using an Arduino Uno because that's what I had lying around. The first thing you must do is hook a wire between the uh, reset pin and ground. So let's do that. Like so. Then you take a wire from the TX pin to the bottom left pin on the back of the transmitter. And one from RX to the bottom right pin on the transmitter. Then you just need a ground cable and this just needs to touch the outer metal ring on the transmitter. So just put it in there somewhere and make sure it sticks. Then we can connect the USB cable to our Arduino. And then we turn on our transmitter while holding the sticks in the bottom left position. And this will take us into a factory menu. <laughs> then you go down to firmware version. You can see here this one has version 1.1 March 27th 2015. Then you want to go into firmware update mode and press OK to proceed and yes. Right. And then you go to this address on uh, GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description. Download the zip file and extract it somewhere. And then what you want is the 10 channel mod i6 updater. And there's a bunch of different versions here, but I'm just gonna pick the latest one and start it. Right. And then you need to open the correct COM port. And uh, a way to determine which COM port your Arduino is connected to is to go to the device manager, open up ports, and right here it says Arduino Uno on COM port 3. So just press open port and your version number should appear here and if it doesn't I guess it means something went wrong and uh, check your connections and uh, try again. Now I'm just gonna press program and it starts flashing. Right so the uh, transmitter light up. We can now turn it off. Let's go to system setup check our firmware version and as you can see here we are now running a firmware called Fly Plus Beta <laughs> dated to the 20th of January 2016. All we have to do is set up our auxiliary channels again Alright, so now we have 10 channels at our command. We got these four switches and also these knobs here which I'm not sure what we're gonna use for but I'm sure we'll uh, figure something out. So there's that and now we just need to set up our failsafe again. And we can now just double check in beta flight that the uh, channels are working. So we got throttle, yaw, 
pitch, roll, auxiliary 3, auxiliary 4, the turning knobby things are working. We got our mode switch and our arming switch. Alright, so all our auxiliary channels seems to be working. Now it's just a matter of finding out what we want to do with them, but that's for another time, I think. Feel free to comment, like or subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.